Hello, welcome to the SAS and Teradata Technology Showcase. In this segment, we will show you Code Accelerator. In the previous two segments, we have shown you how to load the data, how to cleanse the data, and now we're going to show you how to repair the data using Code Accelerator. I'm joined by Lisa Dotson from SAS. Hello. And Paul Siegel from Teradata. Hello. So Lisa, I'm going to turn it over to you to have uh, you share with us an overview of what Code Accelerator is all about. Sure, absolutely. So we know that data is rarely, if ever, ready for analytic analysis. It's never um, structured in the right way or, or we have different data that we're trying to bring together. So what Paul's going to walk us through is actually a combination of using some SQL and using some SAS um, all inside of Teradata uh, to get our data prepared for analysis. Some of what he's going to show you is, or we're going to refer to as, is something called DS2. Um, it's a, a language that we've developed at SAS in order to run inside of a database. Um, but it, it's pretty easy for the most part to, to convert your data step programs that you have today that might be preparing data into DS2 so that they can run inside of the database. Paul? Thank you. So I'm not going to go through the connection every single video. So just trust me that I actually have connected to a six-node Teradata 2800 sitting in San Diego. So we'll look at our base tables. So I have some data that looks like this. So I've got an identifier, which is a customer identifier. I've got a date. And I've got some transaction counts, T1 to T5. So what I want to do is I want to summarize this. I want to make it more useful. And just to show you the volume of data we're talking about, we have 365 million rows. Not large, but not small either. Reasonable size data. So what I'm going to do, or well, first thing I'm going to do, is take that data, take that date field, and just pull out the month. So I'm doing that via PROC SQL. And this is SAS's dialect of SQL. We call this implicit SQL. So I'm going to insert into a Teradata table called TXN month. I'm going to pull out the identifier, pull the month out of the date column, and just send the transaction counts through. Now, if you are familiar with Teradata, you will know there, that Teradata does not have a function called month. So what will happen? When I run this, under the covers, the access engine looks to see where the data is coming from and where it's going to. And because it's coming from and going into Teradata, it knows it can translate whatever it can into Teradata specific SQL. And if we scroll up here, because I've got the logging turned on, we can go and look at the SQL. We notice here we have the extract month from the DT column. So it's translated that sassism into a teradatorism. And that's extremely powerful. So I have a quick look at the data now. We can see that we have the data in the format we expect it to be. ID, the month number, and the transaction counts. So what I want to do now is I basically want to pivot or transpose that data. So previously what I would do is I'd pull that data out of the Teradata database, land it on SAS and get SAS to do the manipulation. But it's 365 million rows, it's going to take a while to come out of the network because nobody's corporate network is fast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this DS2 code that Lisa mentioned before. Now, a lot of you listening to this and watching this probably aren't familiar with DS2. DS2 is a modernization of the data step language. It adds in some really nice features like supporting ANSI data types. If you've ever overflown your 16 significant digits in a SAS data, set, data type, DS2 allows you to use big integers and big decimals. It adds in thread control. It adds in packages. It adds in methods. It really opens up a lot of additional usage 
for the SAS language. And one of the other really nice things is the DS2 language can be executed natively inside the Teradata database using what's called the SAS embedded process. So I set up my proc DS2 and tell it DS2 Excel equals yes. So push this into the database. I define my threads and I set up some arrays. So my arrays are just T1C from 1 to 12. They're going to hold the transaction counts. I'm going to use them to aggregate over the months. Declare some variables, so double as, or so T1 average as a double, ID as an integer. I'm keeping and retaining some variables. And then there's something new, a method. So this method just does nothing but goes through and zeroes out those arrays for the transaction counts. Then we get into the run method. And here we're telling it where the data comes from. We're doing by group processing. And then we're doing first dot, last dot processing. Something you'll see in data steps every single time. And if you've ever had the misfortune of trying to convert a first dot, last dot process into set based SQL, you'll know what just how painful it can be. By being able to push this into DS2 and have that executed in the database, we can now eliminate that painful experience from our lives. So if it's the first occurrence of a particular ID, we call this clear array method that we saw up here. So it goes through and zeroes out the arrays. Then it just goes through and adds in the transaction count for that month. Then we calculate a, an average over the entire 12 months. And if it's the last occurrence of that ID, we output the results. And that contains our run method. Now this run method is going to be fired off for each thread we define. So down here, we can go through and we, de we can declare our threads. If this was running on a SAS server, we'd tell it how many threads do we want. And we could say use eight threads of our 16 core machine and it will fire off eight instances of that run. Because this is a Teradata machine, it will automatically define one thread per amp on the system. On my particular system, that's 240 threads. So that run method we saw up here will run 240 times in parallel. So let's give this a run. So remember, we're going from that 365 million row table to 1 million rows, but going extremely wide. So we're going from a deep, narrow to a shallow, wide table, just like you'd expect in a, in a transpose. So that took 11.64 seconds to do that transposition. That's quite phenomenal. Mm -hmm. So I just want to show the final results. So I've gone from that, now. let's just refresh. Let's have a look at the original table that we're dealing with. So we had some data, we went from data that looks like this. And we've now gone in the 11 seconds to data that looks like this. And again, no data has actually left the Teradata system. It's all happened in place, and that DS2 code executed natively inside the database. So now that you have the data in the format that you can analyze, uh, as you can see, it is very quick, very efficient. We're going to show you in the next video how you can apply some of the analytics to the data that you have prepared. Lisa, Paul, thank you, and thank you for your attention.